Continuing on with our discussion of symmetry and group theory, we're going to look at irreducible representations, which we are going to define as the minimal set of the simplest possible representations of a group from which all others can be expressed. So in the previous video on symmetry operator matrices, we showed how given the symmetry operations of a group, we can express or represent those operators as matrices which have the same effect as the as the operation itself. So we showed that in three by three matrices how we could do that and we said that that was one representation of these particular operators in the particular point group. So here we're going to extend that concept to irreducible representations which are the simplest possible representations. So to do that, we'll look at the C2V point group. The C2V point group is the point group of water. There are four symmetry operations, E, C2, sigma V, and sigma V prime. As indicated here, the molecular plane is sigma V prime, C2 the principal axis, and sigma V perpendicular to sigma V prime and parallel to C2. All right, the group multiplication table for C2V is here. If we do this operation in the row, then this operation in the column, these are the resulting net operations from those uh, results. So any, time, any representation of these operators uh, where we have one times the other should always form um, this result as indicated in the table here. So before we do that, let's just remind ourselves from multiplication that one times one equals one, one times minus one equals minus one, minus one times minus one equals one, and minus one times one equals minus one. So here's one way we could represent these four operators in a way that's consistent with this table. We could define E as one, C2 as one, sigma V as one, and sigma V prime as one. Therefore, any multiplication of these two is equal to the correct value here, because E times C2, or E times C2 is 1 times 1, which is 1, which is also equal to C2. Sigma V times sigma V prime is 1 times 1, which equals C2, which is also 1. So this is correct. This is consistent with the properties of this multiplication table. Um, so this is what we would call the A1 representation of these particular operators in the C2V point group. But that's not the only way to do it. We could also define E as 1, C2 as 1, sigma V as minus 1, and sigma V prime as minus 1. Therefore, if we did things like sigma V times C2 would be minus 1 times 1, which would give us minus 1, which has to be equal to sigma v prime, which is also minus one. So these definitions are also consistent with the group multiplication table. And this would be the, what's called the A2 representation of the operators in the C2v point group. Okay, uh, there's another, oper, oper, another representation called B1 with these definitions and B2 with those definitions. Together, these are the four irreducible representations of the C2V point group. So these are irreducible representations which are sometimes called IREPS for short. So there's no way you can have a simpler set of representations for these four operators that are consistent with this group multiplication table. So there are four operators here and there are four uh, IREPS which, can, which uh, constitute uh, the irreducible representations of this point group. So what we'll move on to next is character tables, which are uh, tables of the, of the uh, definitions of each of these uh, irreps for each of the individual point groups they correspond to.